Well, a little history lesson this Memorial Day weekend as we head to John's Farm for John's World this week. As far back as I can remember, which varies greatly now, the right answer to the question, when did humans first come to the Americas, was a number around 10,000 years ago. Over time, archaeologists kept uncovering surprising fossils and remains and adding dating tools. Most absolute dating methods are radiometric, based on radioactive decay in minerals. There are new relative dating approaches like paleopollinology, the examination of pollen captured in fossils. One big new change is DNA analysis, especially for human remains. DNA changes occur sequentially, so scientists can figure out where and often when in human evolution any remains fit thus establishing a time range and sometimes a location. At any rate, as geologists refine major events like glaciation periods, paleontologists have better benchmarks to approximate human expansion from our origins in Africa. For the Americas, there is a rough consensus that the occupation of the Americas occurred during the last glacial maxima, LGM, about 40,000 years ago. Then, with ocean levels much lower as water was locked up in the ice, the Bering Strait between Siberia and Alaska was joined into Beringia. However, conditions that would make the land bridge passable didn't occur until 10 to 20,000 years ago, hence the long-standing acceptance of the human settlement date. Archaeologists, though, kept finding fossils and shreds of evidence of human activity that have gradually begun to push the date back. In 2020, a cave in Mexico offered up some tantalizing hints of earlier arrival in the form of well-preserved mammoth remains, bones apparently split with stone tools and gathered neatly under a fossilized mammoth skull. The artifacts could be as old as 30,000 years ago. The tools that were used were also possibly identified. Other intriguing sites have suggest suggested dates in the 20 to 25,000 years ago range. The debate continues among paleontologists, but if these finds do establish earlier settlement of the Americas, they also changed how people probably got here. The Beringia land bridge didn't just pop up dry and ready to run across. It was boggy and often impassable until the sea receded further. To get here that early would suggest a sea route hugging the western coast, followed later by the overland treks down the Continental Divide. This nautical theory would in turn revise thinking about early seafaring skills and population dispersion patterns. As fascinating as I found this discussion, it revealed to me we not only have trouble predicting the future, we can barely predict our past. Well, it's a fan favorite this weekend for Tractor Tales, the story behind a John Deere 4020 in Illinois, and one he bought brand new. Machinery Pete takes us to Mineral, Illinois next. Closed captioning on U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by BASF. BASF, helping you to do the biggest job on earth.